This year's LA Auto Show featured a number of exotic and everyday production cars that we really enjoyed. Starting with the Aston Martin V8 Vantage Roadster, uh, we found that this was definitely the best in show out of all the cars we, uh, we were able to see at the show. Um, obviously Aston Martin is, uh, all Aston Martins are very similar in design and style and most people know them as the cars that James Bond drives. The V8 Vantage is the low end um, of, the, of the range, still over $100,000, but that's, uh, believe it or not, a growing segment uh, in the car market these days. Uh, it's just a gorgeous vehicle. The convertible kind of shows off some of the lines even a little better than the coupe does, and we really uh, thought this one was a stunner. Nissan brought an Altima Coupe. This is the first time Nissan's ever brought a two-door version of the Altima uh, to market, so it was pretty exciting for them, and it actually turned out to be a very attractive everyday car, this one affordable. Uh, they're going to offer all the same powertrains that are in the sedan, and it should be good competition for the Honda Accord, Coupe, and the Toyota Solara. Chrysler brought out the convertible version of its all-new Sebring. The sedan was introduced last year, and the convertible is new for this year. The convertible is always a popular choice for Sebring. Um, they sell very well, uh, and you might see a lot in rental fleets as well, because people want an affordable version of a convertible, a uh, four-seat convertible. Audi brought two cars. Uh, the R8 supercar that you see here is actually shares a lot of uh, pieces from Lamborghini, a corporate cousin of Audi. So you know it's going to be fast. Um, it's also going to be expensive in the $100,000 range again. But this is a, a German supercar, so it'll sh exhibit some uh, different uh, traits. But very good looking car. We were really impressed by it in person. Audi also showed both versions of its TT, its, it's more affordable coupe in the $40,000 range, not $100,000 range. So it's convertible here, and there's also a coupe shown uh, a little bit later. But this is a, a new, all new design we hadn't seen yet here in the U.S. It'll go on sale early next year, but uh, really attractive, uh, lots of cool sharp angles on it, and uh, we think it'll do pretty well too.